just wanted to give you an update on the UC Davis Strawberry Programme that we've seen over the summer of 2023. Been to California a couple of times over the summer in Oxnard, in, in Santa Maria, and having a look at the varieties that we represent and of course the new selections coming along. I think it's good to give an update as to where we are and look at the ones that are really, really shining, particularly the Royal Royce, the Valiant and the Victor. Obviously Royal Royce and Valiant are both day neutral varieties. Very, very impressive. I guess like lots of things, the more we've seen of them and the more we learn about them, the better they seem to be. I guess the growers are making increased improvements in the production of them continually throughout California. And we're now starting to experience that, of course, in other parts of the world. If we look at Royal Royce, then it's demonstrating a 32% increase over Monterey. Monterey's obviously been the benchmark variety throughout California and many parts of the world in the day neutral sector, but 32% increase is incredible. That's got an average berry weight of 29.7 grams, so a very large berry. And in 2021 produced just over four kilos of fruit per plant, which is exceptional. Not sure that's gonna to translate to four kilos in every other part of the world. Um, obviously it's the perfect growing condition in California, but pro rata with varieties that you would already know, such as Monterey, you can see that what a big increase in yield that's going to give. It's got a bricks acid content of 8.6, which scores quite well, and is 30, 40% firmer than Monterey. So we're exceptionally excited about it. As we are indeed with Valiant, the other day neutral variety, 52% increase in, product, in productivity over Monterey. It's almost hard to believe, but it largely comes from the berry size, which is 35.3 grams per plant. And again, delivering 3.7 grams per plant in the 2020, 2021 trials in Monterey. And again, 30, 40% firmer than Monterey. So really, really exciting. The short day variety that's the standout among the first five that came out is UCD Victor. And Victory is going from strength to strength. There's a lot of people talking about it in many different parts of the world now. 25, sorry, 29% increase in productivity over Fronteras with a 29.5 gram berry weight and a Briggs acid content of 10.5. 30% firmer than Fronteras. So again, something we're really excited about and seeing increased numbers in, in every part of the world that we're managing these varieties as UC Davis master license holder for, for the new and modern genetics. The other exciting thing about these is that Victor and Valiant are resistant to Neopestiloptiopsis, which is really important considering the, the, the pressure that many growers are on around the world for that particular problem. So that's quite exciting. Royal Royce has moderate resistance to that too. In addition to that, then as, as we know from, from the very progressive program we have there at UC Davis, then there's UCD Finn and UCD Mojo coming through the system, both extreme day neutrals and look well set to replace Monterey in, in, in many different areas um, and, and as well, of course, Portola. In addition to that, five new varieties you may have seen in the press coming to market, two short days, Surfline and Monarch, both exceptionally good, um, and then some day neutral varieties, Keystone, Eclipse, um, and Golden Gate. So we're really, really very pleased um, with the progression of the program. Many of you will have read that Eclipse, for example, is consistently pushing out over four kilos a plant, and uh, at the end of the day, it's the weight of the berry that uh, fills the punnets and, um, and uh, you know, makes it pay for growers. So really exciting, just thought I'd give you an update of what's happening in the strawberry world from us here at Global Plant Genetics and uh, look forward to working with you through our license holders internationally.